All right, welcome back, guys. This is Ivan from BrainyViz.com. And uh, today is not going to be a tutorial. I'm going to show you what I've been working on. Um, I was asked by someone who's making a movie to uh, try to do some props for them uh, so they could be shown in the movie and look uh, more realistic. Uh, and I said, well, I've never done it before, but, uh, you know, I'll give it a go. It sounds like, uh, like fun. So that's what I did. So I'm going to show you. I was asked to make three of them. And this is the first one that I'm going to show you today. And uh, I'm wearing my Deadpool uh, t-shirt. And uh, if you haven't seen this movie, go check it out. It's pretty awesome. And uh, that's why I'm wearing it, because this is a movie and I'm making a movie prop. <laughs> so, uh, so without further ado, let's uh, check out this thing. So basically in the movie they have some sort of uh, cryotube uh, uh, system that has a countdown and a temperature display that's going to be on this little Nokia here. And there's a keypad uh, that's attached to it that enables you to change the countdown uh, to, uh, to start, to stop, and all that. So what we're going to do, I'm going to show you a, a little bit how this is built. Uh, so this is all acrylic that was cut on a laser cutter. And this is a keypad that we've used before. You can check out that video if you want. And the little Nokia 5110 uh, LCD screen. Like I said, we used that before, so you can check out that video. And a little eight-digit uh, display LED. And uh, we did a video uh, just doing a countdown using this one. So I'm reusing that code and tweaked it a little bit and make all these things uh, work together. Now, since there's a lot of components here, I'm using a mega and I don't know if you can see it here, sandwich between uh, these two acrylic plates. And let me show you the back. So you can see the loop of the uh, keypad goes here, connects to the little PC board, which is a regular little PC board like this one. There you go. So what I did is that I soldered headers to this side, and then I was uh, to this side, sorry. And then I was able to actually take the Mega and uh, clip it on right here. So basically creating a shield. Uh, so that worked out pretty well. And then, as you can see, there's a lot of wires here, sandwiched between them. So they go from one, point, uh, one module to one uh, pin on the Mega. Um, now, in the future, I'm working on right now, uh, we have a little CNC machine that we're trying to... Uh, let me switch. Uh, we have a little CNC machine that we're trying to uh, set up to do isolation uh, milling of PC boards. Because uh, this is pretty cool and all, uh, but these are all separate holes, so you need to jump with wires and all that. So we're working on trying to create PC boards when we do projects like this instead of using this. This is very good uh, for hobbyists and stuff like that, but when you have the right equipment, you can actually um, mill your own PC boards, and then all you have to do is put the modules on the PC board and solder them uh, right away without ha having to use any wires. Uh, so I'll let you know uh, the progress on that and uh, when we get it all figured out I'll make a tutorial video uh, from start to finish. How to make the PCB, uh, design the PCB and then cut it on the CNC router, uh, what uh, software we're going to use and all that, so stay tuned for that. Uh, so now, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to plug it in and I'm going to show you exactly how this thing works. So basically, this is all powered using a little regular USB um, battery pack that you use to charge your cell phones. So I'm going to connect one end of the wire like this, and I'm going to put it underneath so it props it up like so. And then I just plug in the other end of the cable to the Mega. And there it goes. It's starting up. Oops, let me move the camera a little bit. There you go. So right now, as you can see, we have 79.90 um, temperature, and it says standby, and we have a countdown of 30 seconds, and this is a tenth of a second. So if I want to change this, I can click on the star, and then it will go to two minutes, and then the temperature changes, uh, because in the movie, when it reaches 80, that's when uh, it gets deployed or something like that. Uh, also, I'm going to let you know uh, how that movie turns out, and uh, the uh, person that was in charge of creating the movie says that um, he'll, uh, he'll let me know the release date and all that, and also maybe send me some clips of our props in action, so that'll be uh, pretty cool. I'll let you guys know about that. 
So let's continue here. So one, minute, uh, one hour 34, then it's 78, and everything switches like that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, let's say, start at 134. The start button is the uh, number key. And there we go. You can hear counting, and the temperature changes. And also there's an LED here that uh, goes from blue on standby to red armed. And then when it reaches zero, so we're going to stop it. So basically the way I program this is that any key doesn't do anything except the zero, which will stop it. And there you go, now it's stopped. Now I can reset to 30 seconds. Let me go to 30. Start. And there you go, it's going to count down to zero. The LED is, blue, is red. And it's going to reach 80, and then it's going to do the deploy with the uh, green LED. <clears throat> so let's just wait for that until it counts down. Uh, so I have two more of these to do. There's one uh, that I'm almost finished, and it's reaching the countdown now. It goes a little bit faster at 10 seconds. That's what he wanted. And there you go. And now green, 80, deploy. And that's it. So that's the function of this. So let me turn it off. So there you go. It's a nice little package like that. It's open, so they're probably going to put it in sort of a, an enclosure, I guess. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy about this. It turned out pretty cool, and I actually learned a lot about uh, making little projects on PC boards. Uh, let me switch. So, uh, yeah, so we've used this, like I said, uh, but it gives us a, a push to actually try to do a CNC isolation milling machine. So I'll let you guys know about that, too. So, like I said, I have two, uh, two more to do. So there's three in total. This is the first one, the cryotube. And uh, in two, three days, or yeah, probably two, three days, I should have another one finished. So I'll show it off to you guys also. And uh, two, three days after that, that will be the last one. And we'll conclude all the props so I can ship it uh, to these guys so they can put them in uh, their movie. So there you go, guys. That is a tutorial just showing you what I'm working on right now. And um, don't worry, I'm going to keep doing videos. It's just right now I'm working on this project. So, like I always say, guys, if you like these videos, please subscribe to our channel. If you have any comments or questions or um, future projects uh, you would like us to work on, uh, just leave them in the comments below, and we try to answer uh, every one of them. So, once again, guys, my name is Ivan, and I hope to catch you guys real soon. And go watch Deadpool. Take care.